home. Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you the new home screen launcher for Android phones that has been released. Well, specifically for the Galaxy S21, S22 and a few Pixel phones. But um, basically you can just download the APK. Just type in on Google nothing launcher APK download and it should do it um but never mind that um what i want to show you is the home screen uh how accessible it is with talkback and also i have enabled the show taps and touches feature for this recording so that you can see where i'm touching and what gestures well I think what gestures, I've never used the uh, taps and touch feature thing. But anyway, so let's start off navigating around the screen. You can tap anywhere where there's no icon and it will say home and then actions available, blah, blah, blah. Or you can, well, you can get to some of the menus with the talk back actions or you can just long press, double tap and hold and it'll bring up a menu with... with uh, links to home, home settings and wallpaper and stuff but there uh, yeah it's better if I show you home actions available use tap with the three fingers to view yep yeah. although uh, I'll just turn my volume up just so it's clear on the audio home actions available use tap with the three fit there we are um, so, you can do a lot of the usual stuff that you can do on most launchers now, even the stock ones by Samsung, the One UI Home Launcher, all the others. Uh, swipe up. Apps list. Uh, just shut that up because it was about to say some ridiculous icon name for that search bar up there. Um, so yeah, swipe up for the apps. Scroll through, blink, 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 blink. You can navigate through them. Bixby Vish Blaze, Blockchain Books, Boots, Bowling Ballers, Business Suite. Double tap to activate, double tap and hold to long press. Actions available. Use tap with the three fingers to view. So let's see if I do the actions, actions gesture. Talk back menu, actions, in list. Yep. Actions. Shortcuts and notifications. Uninstall. Add to home screen. Cancel. Button. Okay, so you've got those options. And you can also get to those options by uh, double tap and hold to long press on the icon. Nothing launcher. Business. So Beehive then... bedlam. Home screen one of three. Home. Out of grid. Um, and then... Just the actual home screen itself. Folder. Google. Three items. Play Store. Reminder. Settings. Yeah, so all that reads out okay. Then you've got the search bar, which is a bit iffy. Facebook. Home screen two of three. Double. Home. Okay, so it scrolls past the search and onto the second home screen. Yeah, that's quite cool, actually. Facebook. Messenger, WhatsApp, Instagram, Office, Wonder, Outlook, T. Be my eyes, Envision app. Sh yeah, all that works. BTN DSB as Tesco. BTN DSB assistant button. Double tap to activate. Labels available. Use tap with the three fingers to view. So, that assistant icon that is highlighted is not properly labeled, and there is no label for the icon to the left I, th I don't know what the icon is i think it's if it's the normal google search bar i think it's a letter g um kind of kind of reminds me of the pixel launcher how the google the google bar is just there by default and can't be shifted yeah i think that's a g and then you've got the assistant 
Um, but yeah, everything else navigates okay. Home screen one, home. Now let's go into the uh, widgets. Home settings, H widgets. Widgets list, widgets. You've got two tabs, personal work. Um, I think that's if you have work profile set up. I don't have a work profile thing, but I do have secure folder, which I think is treated as a work profile. I'm on a Samsung A52S, as I reviewed this previously. Um, if you haven't seen that, check out that video on my channel. Um, so I've got a list of apps that all contain widgets. So let's say I wanted to go... Third. Collapsed. Facebook. Ooh. Uh, you have to type Collapsed. a bit... You have to tap a bit precisely on the thing. Collapsed. Collapsed. Google News. What? Collapsed. Google. Two widgets. One shortcut. Okay, there's another actions thing there. I'll just shut that up. Um... Okay, so let's expand this Google menu. You've got search widget, four wide by one high, at a glance widget, four wide by two high. And then you've got sound search widget, one wide by one high. Yep, yeah. okay, so we want the at a glance widget. At a glance widget, four wide by two high. Okay, let's move that. Ooh. Hang on, let's move that there. Uh, let's try and let's try and put this on the home screen. Touch and hold to move a widget. Nothing launcher. Yeah, okay, so double tap and hold. Widgets list closed. Move to row one, column one. Okay, that's interesting. Um so then if I let go here. Item move. Item moved. Okay. Home screen one of three. Item added to home screen. BTN DSB assistant. Button. Double tap to activate. Okay, so as you can, as those who are sighted, who have who have vi uh, some vision at least, can can probably tell, and some and some people who are fully sighted can actually see that there is the at a glance widget with the date and the weather. Okay, we are in an edit mode, I think. That's to edit the widget size. Navigation. Let's come out of that. Nothing launcher. Cloudy, 6 degrees Celsius. So Double I, tap to activate. If I was to click on this, it would take me to the weather. But I think everyone's seen the Google weather screen. Or most people have, unless they just use the stock weather app on Samsung or... Or, or whatever. Um, then you've got in that home menu thing. Home. Home settings. Home settings. Home settings. Now, I like the layout of this. Home settings. There is not much in there that could do with renaming that up there to home settings and, it, and talk about being able to recognise that as a heading because it says something like button disabled. Home settings disabled. Home settings disabled. That kind of sounds a bit, yeah, misleading. I'm going to use this, and I'm going to. Uh, there is a uh, there is an email address that people can uh, send feedback to for the nothing launcher. Something like launcher at nothing dot tech. Um, and it's also in the about section of of this, which happens to be about there. But you have um, notification dots on notification dots on. So that just takes you to your system notification settings. Add app icons to the home screen for new apps on switch. Add app icons to the home screen. Blah blah blah. And you click that for new apps. Off. For new apps. On. Yep. And then. About. 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 Navigate up. Button. Nothing launcher. Version 1. Zero. Zero. 
disabled in list. So this is the very first release. This is uh, currently in beta, and they are taking feedback from Discord and emails. Um, so yeah, you've got that privacy policy. Privacy. Send feedback. Join Discord. Join our official server and give your feedback in the Launcher Feedback Channel. D email us, launcher, at nothing.tech. Double tap to activate. Click on that and then it just, you know, it just takes you like a thing that says open with email, Gmail, Outlook, blah, 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 blah. Um, Samsung Capture Collapse. Uh, about. Okay. Join email us. And that Samsung Capture thing is just my screenshot toolbar thing. Screen recording toolbar. There is a collapse thing, but it's good. It's good that it's there because it's easier to actually. Uh, uh, it's easy to access for the recording for recording purposes. Now, what I like about the Navig layout launch. Na layout of this is home settings. In the main home settings thing, you've literally got. The back navigate up button out of list. You've got the back. Um, earlier on, when I first installed this, that back button had a really weird label. It was somewhat like nothing home, something icon back something i can't remember what it was but i like the way you've got that and then you've got navigate and you've got home settings disabled the heading which is in big writing kind of a bit like how samsung lays out their menus and you've got the uh, options there Navi nothing launcher and it, it's just so streamlined even when you go into folders Folder, <coughs> Google. Even when you go into folders. Google. I've only got three items there because I've been playing around with this thing and trying to arrange things. Um, but literally you've got the folder name and then your app icons. It's simple. I mean, yeah, yeah it would be nice to have, you know, maybe a search option in there. Because sometimes you might have a folder with a lot of apps. But. Page one of one. Folder. Google. Three items. It's good. Accessibility is top notch. I would say it's even more accessible than a lot of other home stock home launchers or home screens or front end to Android OS or uh, whatever you want to call it because different companies um, design the uh, interface of Android to how they to their branding according to their branding Samsung has one UI Motorola well they just have Android but um, I know that um, it, it it's, I don't know if it's internal code name or, but I think the technical name for their interface, because it's not stock Android, it's something called My UX, which doesn't make sense. Uh, My UX, like, okay, that is just strange. And then uh, you get the idea. And they all have their own home screen which are all called different things. Moto calls theirs Moto App Launcher. Uh, Samsung is called One UI Home. I think on the Google Pixel phones, even that isn't just a even even that isn't just home screen or like whatever the AOSP which is Android Open Source Project. Um basically the um open open nature of Android what gets published and that people can use for anything 
uh, even Google does not use that particular launcher. I don't even think there is a particular launcher for stock Android. I mean, there might be, but Google uses one called Pixel Launcher. I mean, that kind of makes sense, but it would kind of make more sense to call it Pixel Home. Because it kind of is like the home of the Pixel phone, kind of. But uh, at the minute, there is no home screen one of three. There is no Google Discover feed, um, and limited customization. But this is the very first version of the Nothing launcher. Um. But, uh, yeah, if anyone is interested in downloading it, just type in and type into the Google search bar or ask Google Assistant, nothing launcher APK download, or if you've got a device that is actually officially supported through the Play Store, then you can download it from there. Search for nothing launcher or just nothing. And it'll come up. Nothing I've got a good idea of things. I've seen some of their some of their content yeah. some of their content on their socials and I keep getting a notification from my different Discord servers. Um so yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share Sound off in the comments below, and I'll see you in another video, if I can actually uh, hit the uh, finish button. Samsung Capture Stop Button. Yep, and I got it right first time.